So, um, hi everyone, I'm doing another video for you today. So, I'm going to be planting some of the herb seeds that I sell, and we're going to do a comparison and we're going to just see how they grow. So, I'm going to plant some into pots and then um, some into the little peat pellets that I sell with the herb seed packs. So, at the moment, I've swollen these up, these have just been sat in some warm water to swell up. Um, the herbs we're going to be planting today are basil and coriander. So let's start with coriander first. Purely because they are larger seeds, so they're a little bit easier to see and to deal with. Always have your label ready. <laughs> so I'm going to pop that in my pot ready. Now, with these pots, are filled with normal multi-purpose compost. And I tend to put 10 in because with coriander and basil, They'll just grow one shoot and then that will be your stock from that one seed and um, they don't grow really big and bushy like mint would um, so I've got 10 to go in the pot and then I've put three aside to go in the peat pellet and then we'll just compare them and see how they go so um, with the seeds these ones are quite quite big you can probably see actually if I lift it up to the camera they're quite big seeds so you can actually see them all right and um, you don't really need to use a pencil for this you just Pop them on the top of the soil. It doesn't have to be neat. You can just put them in as you feel see fit. Let's bring a bit closer for you. Um, I mean, if they all go in one clump together, it doesn't really matter. I'm just trying to do some sort of pattern. <laughs> so that there is my 10. You could put a few more in if you want, um, but I, I like to have a bit of a gap between mine purely so I know um, you've got enough room to grow. What you can do later on, which I have done before in the pots, is once they start coming up, if you've got too many, you can thin them out. Um, but if you've got a few gaps, I just plant a few more seeds in just to fill the gaps. And then you've just got a, a turnover of growth there. So now I've got three of the coriander seeds sat here. As you can see, this is really swollen with water. It would have been the little thin ones that I sell in the packs. I mean, you can even wring it out with water. It's that swollen up, but that's how it should be. Um, now you're going to get your coriander seeds. I'm going to do three per pod. So I'm just going to push it in the top. That's one. That's two. Number three's come along already. There we go. Number three. Um, what I tend to do is just get a normal bit of soil, just pop it over the top. I wouldn't bury them too deep purely because they need the sunlight or need to reach the sunlight. So that could just be stacked on top there. I tend to just rest it there. And what we'll do is we'll just compare and see the difference between the growth rates of the peat pellet and then just the multi-purpose compost um, and just see how they come along. Next up is the basil. So the basil is exactly the same. I've got my little basil sign. I'm going to pop it in my pot. Um, and I'm going to do 10 into the pot and 3 into the peat pellet. So again, it's on the paper so I can see what's what. It's just easier if you pour too many seeds out you can just pour them back in so these ones are a lot smaller than the coriander so you may not see these ones going in but i'm going to put them in anywhere so i'm going to just again it's quite hard with these to see where they're going because they're black like the soil so i tend to with basil just sprinkle around i mean i could probably if i wanted to get 15 or 20 in this pot but i, I like to um like i say do some get them growing and then add a few more seeds so I've got a bit of a turnover in the pot because it won't really need changing that often oh there's one there there we are so that's my 10 of those in again I can't really see them I'm just going to sprinkle a bit of soil over and I will water these two pots um, with a little bit of water there anyways so for these basil seeds I'm going to use a pencil <laughs> so here's my pencil that we've used before um, I'm just going to get my peat pellet again this is really wet I'm going to maybe get a little bit wet because then it sticks the seed, pick the seed up. So that's my seed on the end of the pencil there. I'm going to push it in. And always with these ones where you can't really see them, make sure you do push it in with pencil. Pick another seed up. I'm going to push it in. So any of you that have bought the um, herb seed boxes off me or the salad seed boxes, the same thing applies. So you, you just sweat it up in warm water. Let it swell so it's sopping wet and then just pop your seeds in and let them grow. Um, and as I say, we're going to just compare the difference between growing in a pot with multi-purpose compost 
and growing in a peat pellet, what you'll find is with the with the peat pellet, you could probably do three or four of these and then just plant them. You don't need to take this off. When they've grown, plant them into the pot and just have four of them dotted about and it just holds the roots together and creates a bit more structure so it's a bit more stable. You haven't got a floppy plant going all over the place. Um, what we'll do then is I'll just update you as and when they start growing and we can just compare the two. Thank you for watching.